welcome back to this week of the Mog Valley. It is time for the Central New York travel portion of today's program. And we say good morning to Sarah Foster from Oneida County Tourism. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Great. We're going to be uh, chatting today a little bit about the Rome Expo, which is happening next weekend. Yes, we are joined today by Bill Guglielmo with the Rome Chamber of Com Commerce. Welcome. Very glad to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Of course. So uh, we're talking Rome Expo, formerly the Rome Home Show, and now we're calling it the Expo. And uh, we were talking prior to the show starting. What year is this that we're going This is on? the 41st annual. We started in 1976, wow. and it's it's really been evolving over the years, always held within the first three or four months of, of, the, of the calendar year. And this year it will be on April 30 and May 1. That's Saturday and Sunday, the last day in April and the first day in May uh, at Kennedy Arena. This will be our fifth time at Kennedy Arena. For years, some of you may remember us being at the Rome Armory, uh, but that facility has been closed uh, along with 11 other armories in New York State. So we are now at Kennedy Arena and having a great time. And you guys are growing, it seems, because I... I think the first show that I did was at the Armory, mm -hmm. and then uh, it seems that each year it gets a little bit bigger and bigger. <laughs> it, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's really been changing over the years, and in order, just like any business, we have to stay current uh, so that we can compete and uh, welcome new exhibitors and, and old, f former exhibitors, existing exhibitors. Don't want to say old exhibitors. <laughs> we always like our, our exhibitors to return to the show. Uh, so this year, it's... Uh, um, uh, an emphasis on traditional home and garden, entertainment and leisure, food and beverage, and art and artisans and wellness. And there will, there will be on-site samplings and product sales, which will bring a broader and exciting experience to visitors throughout the weekend. And we are very extremely excited about Brew Central. Central New York, um, America's craft brew destination, is going to be participating at the Expo. And it's just when we thank... Um, very grateful to Oneida County Tourism for helping to make that possible. Yeah, no problem. Well, we know um, Brew Central, it, it seems, again, to grow every single year, but um, I think that it's finally becoming a recognizable name. People are so used to now seeing those brochures, but it's mm -hmm. an important part of our community. <laughs> We're looking f forward to it bringing together the uh, stories and the traditions and the tastes behind craft beer, hard cider, spirits and wine in Central New York. And we have four local craft beverage producers that will offer tastings throughout the weekend uh, to visitors with proof of age, of course. Unopened products will also be available for purchase. And those participating um, are Empire Brewing Company, Kaimar Farm Winery and Distillery, Prospect Falls Winery, and Villa Verona Vineyard. So again, this is something that we've never done before, and we're, we're, we're taking that leap, and we're certainly looking forward to seeing how well we succeed. I think that'll help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's always nice for people to have that option while they walk around and you know do some browsing. So, and Of course, we, ha we have existing sponsors who, uh, Rome is very fortunate. Uh, our members step up and eagerly participate the activities that we're involved in. Uh, our presenting sponsor is Artronics of Rome, which has a new division called Salina Electronics. And it'll, it will be offering um, for sale televisions and computers and consumer electronics at special expo-only discount prices. Uh, totally Tubular is going to be there, who, which will showcase vintage tube radios. That'll be something that some of us haven't, oh. maybe we've never seen or haven't seen in a very long <laughs> time. So we're, uh, we're certainly looking forward uh, this weekend to having a having a, a great time in Rome at, at Kennedy Arena. And we do have some booths that are still available, a limited number. Booth pricing starts at $249. Anything that I say here <laughs> can also be seen or heard or, 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 or looked at at our website at romechamber.com for a full list of existing exhibitors, the layout, uh, the floor plan, and uh, how to participate if you'd like to. Yeah, and I mean, you know, speaking from personal experience, it's something that we participate in every year, and I know it's great. It's it's great to just have that exposure and to be seen. I mean, sometimes people would say, oh, why is Oneida County Tourism here? And we always bring our travel guides and maps, so it, it doesn't really matter what you're interested in. If you don't think, oh, you know, I'm not, I don't need to be doing the gardening, there still are plenty of other things and ideas that are available. Something new this year, Sarah, is that 
uh, Edible Arrangements um, is is offering a, a special. Every paid admission to the Rome Expo includes a $10 coupon good toward any purchase at Edible Arrangements in Rome and New Hartford. Of course, That's they awesome. feature they feature freshly um, um, crafted uh, arrangements and their full line of uh, edible to-go products, including fresh fruit, smoothies, so on and so forth. So they are a, a, a great supporter of this, this activity. And, and we have raffles that are going to be taking place, courtesy of, again, Artronics for a, for a television set, a 50-inch uh, TV, and a kayak made possible mm. by Herb Philipson's. They've donated one. Um, so prices, a general admission is $5 per person, $7 for families, two, uh, two adults and children, and $2 for seniors 65 and over. Children 12 and under are free and must be accompanied by an adult. Great. And then uh, it says you, you donate these proceeds from the expo? Mm -hmm. Yes. A portion of our proceeds will be going to, each year we've been uh, earmarking a particular not-for-profit organization. This year it's Rome Community Theater that is looking to uh, uh, further move along with its expansion project. So they will be staffing the admission um, gate, um, and in, in return for that, for that, for doing that, we are going to um, devote some of the proceeds to them to help them with their project. We we, we have many bus businesses that are members of the chamber and organizations, and Rome Community Theater is one of those that we are very glad to be assisting this year. That's great. So now, where um, if people want more information, can you want to give the website? Sure. Uh, www.romechamber.com and of course our office is at 139 West Dominic Street uh, 337-1700 Rome Chamber of Commerce call us if interested in knowing more uh, visit our website if interested in, in participating as an exhibitor again we do have several booths available though during the last week they always they always seem to sell very quickly those which are left over so don't hesitate to give us a call. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bro.